So I'm right outside my hotel in downtown Reno, and I'm waiting on my buddy Rob Anderson. He's the guy that you want to talk to if you want to do a little fly fishing around here. There's a lot to do in the biggest little city in the world, but what if I told you you can fly fish right in the middle of downtown Reno? I had no idea you were going to let us go fishing right here in downtown. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the neat things about Reno is, you know, you can stay in one of the hotels here and just walk right out of the hotel and fish the Truckee River. Usually uh, when you think of downtown Reno, you think about casinos, maybe doing a little rock climbing on the famous wall here, not fly fishing. Rob's passion for fly fishing started when he was nine years old. It's what led him to Reno and made him a Truckee River expert. Yeah, we're gonna start right here. Hey, it looks good. So Rob, this may be downtown Reno, but tell me about the Truckee River. So the Truckee River comes out of Lake Tahoe and flows through the town of Truckee, down through the town of Reno, and out to the east, and then up to Pyramid Lake out of the south. The Truckee itself is pretty well known for really nice fish. We catch a lot of nice rainbows and browns in the Truckee, but it's also considered one of the toughest river fisheries you know, in the west. Uh, you have to get a really good drift. You have to know what you're doing, the correct flies. Uh, one of the sayings locally here is if you can catch fish on the Truckee, you can go anywhere and catch huh. fish. Catch a fish in the Truckee and you can go anywhere. With Rob's help, looks like I'll be going a lot of places. So to know which flies, this time of year, it's, it's kind of a guess because it's not real clear. Well, um, you know, there's not a ton of available bugs. The one that sticks out the most is called a Betus mayfly. 95% of a trout's diet in the Truckee River is flies or food under the surface. Uh, you know, one of the, probably the biggest uh, misconceptions about fly fishing is, you know, the kind of the movie, The River Runs Through It, yeah. where you're waving your rod all around in a circle. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, that's really not the case. Most of our fish are caught underneath the water. You know, there's not always food on the surface. So the fish are down there right now, checking stuff out, you know, little leaves and things are going by them and they're looking, looking, looking. and you know, because it's moving water, they don't have a ton of time to make a decision. So we're hoping they make a mistake or two along the way and grab something that we deemed to look like the stuff they're eating anyway. Let's, let's try and be a mistake. <laughs> Good. One of the most popular fishing destinations in the state, the Truckee River attracts about 100,000 anglers every year. Look where you want it to land. Okay, raise your rod tip up, get that line out of the water. When you raise your tip up, it's got to be like this. Wow. Okay. Now as it goes down, now drop your rod down, drop it down. Nice. See how that gets you a little extended drift there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then when, once you get to the end, no, don't, you don't need to move your rod that fast. Okay. Once it gets to the end, just move your tip over here to it. let it slide behind you. Look where you want it to go. Good. Rod tip up. Nope. Oh, well, the whole thing. That's just Keep it horizontal to the water. Here's the difference, okay? If you have your rod tip on a 45 degree angle, the rod's in essence shorter. So when you lift up like that, you're pulling oh, right, everything right, back right, to right. you. So when you lift up horizontally, you keep your rod tip as far out as you can. Now drop down, drop down, perfect. Thanks to Rob, now I know what it takes to become a Truckee Trout's perfect mistake. Wow, you really gotta be patient. Yeah, you do. This is really light tippet, really light line here. Okay, reel, 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 reel. Take your rod over that way. Get him off that rock. Reel that way. There you go. There you go. Good. Good, good, good. You're doing great now. Okay, rod stays high. Let him run. Let him run. Hand off the handle when he's running. Hand off the handle. Yeah. Rod up. Rod up higher. Rod up higher. Got him! Got him! That is nice a beautiful job. fish, dude. Look at oh that. Oh my gosh. It's like you said, you're hoping that it goes by fast enough that it's a mistake for them. <laughs> and you nailed it. You this were exactly right. This is a right. beautiful 16 inch Truckee River rainbow. See the white tips on its fins? Right down here by my fingers? Yeah, See the right white down, tips? Yeah, yeah. That generally tells you it's a wild fish. This fish was, you know, grew up in here, was, you know, raised here. Not a hatchery fish. Probably been in the river 
four or five years to get to this size. I have officially caught a rainbow in the Truckee. I feel like I could fish anywhere and catch anything. Downtown Reno, Nevada has a lot going on, but I bet a lot of people don't expect that you can do some trout fishing right there. Yeah, we fly fish right here through town all the time. Rob, I had a great time, especially catching that rainbow. I did as well. Thanks a lot, Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Next time you're thinking about outdoor Nevada and Reno, make sure you remember that this is a city that literally has a river that runs through it.